Hey everyone, welcome back to Bravely Default. Last time, we finally made our way through the Underflow and into the Temple of Fire, thanks to Igil and the Fire Vestal who guided him in his dreams. With their help, we finally awakened the Fire Crystal, as you can see, so Mark Karka should stop erupting, which should save Heart's Child from being drowned in lava, and hopefully now we can go end the war with these Sword Bears and Shield Bears. Or rather, that's what we would be doing if we didn't have side quests I wanted to take care of before we go report to Commander Goodman about what we did here at the Fire Temple. So there is a shortcut out of the Underflow, thankfully. We don't have to walk all the way back through that dungeon. It is a very it is a very long one, so it'd be really annoying to have to do that. Also, is my encounter rate down? I don't remember turning it down, but let's check, because it might be. No? I, okay. Just haven't run into any enemies. Sure. Yeah, this entrance goes right near the uh, the beginning of the dungeon. And that chest we're missing up there is just a blue chest that we can't unlock yet. And we'll be able to for a while. Huh? What's this? Something looks different. No way. What is it, Eagle? All the ore! It's disappeared! What do you mean? Is it something to do with awakening the crystal? Any idea, Aerie? With the death of the Fire Vestal, it was no longer possible to control the magma that represents fire. The Mithril Ore, used to create powerful weapons and armor, Perhaps it's another symbol of fire, subject to the crystal's control. What? Well, we don't know that for sure yet. Anyhow, we'd better go report to Commander Goodman. Yeah, well again, before we do that, we've got a little something to take care of. There's two blue chests in this area, which is weird. I think they would have spread them out a little bit more than that, besides putting them in one dungeon and then the next immediate after that. Though I guess technically the Underflow isn't the next dungeon after the Mithril Mines, it's just right next to it, though... Actually, I think it might be the next dungeon if you go by the story? So actually, never mind. It is actually technically the next dungeon. Maybe. I don't remember. No, 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 Starkfort is. Technically. But you don't really do much in Starkfort. But speaking of Starkfort, that's where we're heading today. That's where the side quest we have is. We can see with the blue marker on the map. There is one more path we've yet to take in Starkfort, and one more person there we've yet to fight. Well, technically there's two Black Blades we've yet to fight. Well, not even technically. There, There is just two. We saw five in the meeting they had at the beginning of this chapter after we encountered Kami and Zumi for the first time. Uh, we already fought Barbarossa, Praline, and Kata, so the only ones left are Kami, Zumi, and that uh, covert ninja, Konoe. So you can guess we'll probably be fighting one of those. Also, Ringbell and Dia have made it to level 9 on their respective jobs. Uh, and you've made it to level 10 here. I want you to get black, white magic level 5, though, so we'll wait till you get that, and then we'll switch over to black magic, as, I guess. Um, level 7, that's really good. Like, the only ones I really wanted. I'd like to get a uh, Phoenix Auto. Auto Phoenix, whatever it's called. Short now one's good too. Uh, so we'll keep you there for a while. You, though, I want you to be a pirate, I guess, as soon as possible. But right now, it's not going to do as much good because I'm going to be switching over really soon anyway in this. So, I guess just sick as you are. Ring a bell, though. Uh. I couldn't have you be performer. And then... I could have you be monk. Hmm. I think I'm actually going to make him a spell fencer. Which seems weird, I know, but I think I'm going to do that. And you can stick with piracy, I suppose. Actually... Hmm. Yeah, I suppose stick with piracy. And we have to change your equipment up, so get... Well, I guess I don't have to. I guess I could keep you with Spear Lore. Yeah, sure, go for it. And, uh... At that point, I don't really need you to have Sword Magic, so... Well, no, I guess I should keep her on Sword Magic, because... 
Oh, I suppose I could just give her hunting and then she can punch things to death. Yeah, sure, go for that, whatever. Otherwise, we're fine, alright? Whatever. <laughs> I don't know if this party setup's great, but we're going for it anyway, I guess. Why not? Do you have anything to say? Didn't reach these walls? I cannot believe you're talking for you know, the likes of the shield bearers. Uh, you don't care, so that one cared. Well, maybe if you didn't just like, walk, that, 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 didn't just let like, random people walk in, they wouldn't be able to infiltrate the base. Just a thought there, buddy. And right, this middle passage is now open. It wasn't the other two times we visited Stark Fort. So we can just walk up here. And there's not really much here. There's just a bunch of chests on these sides. There's a dragon fang. Jesus Christ, that's amazing. I don't know if there's any enemies. You have just a bunch of black blades and axe fighters. Uh, you just go ahead and use fallen shards. Stay with them. You use some thunders. I probably should have gone to an inn before this thing about now, but now oh, well, it's probably fine. Thunder. Yeah, you're. Yeah. <laughs> I maybe I should keep you on a. Well, it's not gonna be that helpful coming up. Sword magic. I just want to think about on it for later mainly, not really for right now. So it's fine that he doesn't have great levels in it, and fine that if he doesn't have it. For now, at least it's gonna be a little bit big of a problem coming up. Uh, later, of course, like in the short term, but hopefully having a ball will be alright by then. Ice Charm that decreases water damage, that's good. I don't know if we've gotten that already. I think we probably have. Uh, I've either bought it or found it at some point, but... So, I think there is a hidden wall in this room. Yep, right down here. And if we go left, and there's a chest. Safety ring decreases, not decreases, um... Resist death. Okay, here's a new enemy, the Dagon, the Fire Dagon. I think you can steal Dragon Fangs in these things. Also, that means I would want Ming about to have thievery. Shit. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh... Actually, yeah, we're gonna need him to have thievery. Okay, I'll switch him over to that after this, then. That's fine. Uh, Fire Dagons have a uh, move called Fireball that simply does a lot of damage. Uh, pierces Defense 2, I believe, which is pretty dangerous. Uh, do you have Dragon Hunter? You do, Dragon Slayer, whatever. Just go ahead and use that thing, even though we're using some Perma Crystals and Water Magic anyway. Uh, in which case, Ring of Us definitely not going to finish you off. Oh, that finished you off, so didn't waste any Perma Crystals, that's nice. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's switch the Ring of Us over to Thievery. We're really not going to use Piracy anyway, and we'll give him the uh, Thieves Glove as well to increase his chance to steal. Because we're going to want to steal those Dragon Fangs as well as... Uh, an item from the boss we're gonna fight here. So there's two staircases going up. I can never remember which one is the right one. Tay's got widened area there. It's gonna be very helpful. Uh, we need to cure people up here. We're running out of MP, but we should be okay. We have a good few ethers, so we should be able to just get all that back. Axe potion as well. I really should be using my potions more. I keep buying them, just not using them. Though I did use a lot in the uh, the underflow, mainly to deal with like Minotaur zombies. Not so much to actually heal allies. I think this is the wrong way, which is good. Alright, so yeah. Uh, we're gonna use... Well, I can use your uh, attacks, because you're probably just gonna kill the fire to go on. You, though, should try and steal from that, and then... Just attack it. We don't need to use anything, and you can use Dragon Slayer on it, hopefully. Actually, you're gonna go first. You might go first, so I'll just default. Fiery Breath. Okay, it's Fiery Breath, rather. Maybe also it's Fireball. But uh, luckily, Anis has an Ice Flame Shield, so she is not affected by that at all. Please. Okay. Um, you know what? Whatever. It's fine. I can buy uh, Dragon Fangs. They're expensive, but I can still buy them. If maybe I'll grind for P. I don't think I'll need to, but if maybe. It's really not helpful until later on, anyway, when you have a bunch of HP. So. I don't really mind not having a bunch of Dragon Fangs right now. Kunai. That's just a good... Dagger, we don't really have, well, I guess, no, we don't know, we don't have anyone good with daggers, well, Tiz, actually, is Tiz using a dagger right now? Totally is. We quit the crew now then, dude. Higher evade, higher attack, go for it. We forgot about him. <laughs> but that's not that I forgot about him, I just forgot that he was, oh. I didn't sign up for this. It wasn't supposed to turn out this way. We staged an uprising because you said we could win. Four years later, what have we got to show for it? It was a harebrained scheme from the start. You lot were behind this, so you can clean up the mess. I'm getting out of here until the coast is clear to return. 
You'd leave your compatriots behind. Well, look, it can't be helped, can it? The sword bearers need their commander alive so we can make a comeback. It can't be helped, you say? Yes, you may be right. I'll have to use your airship, of course. Well, good luck! <laughs> Turns out this was the right way. Well, uh... Let's go back then. Oh, God damn! Oh, come on! Well, that sucked. Vingbill's already up to Sword Magic Level 3, though, which is nice. It means I think he can use Thundara, Blizzard, Fyra. So he's just going to be a lot more helpful. Plus, you know, he's stronger. I think it's Sword Magic Level 5 that you need? 4. Yeah, you get job levels really quick when you're starting uh, jobs at this point in the game. You just uh, blow through the early levels. Which is good, because... That means people get stronger faster. Okay, yeah, this is definitely the wrong way. Which is good. This is the way I wanted to go in order to get here to a single chest with a courage ring. I believe that just resists dread. Turns out you can't see all dragon fangs from the fire to gallons, just phlogistons, which is still okay, but nothing spectacular, nothing too worth worrying about. Though, I will say that um, the black blades you've been fighting so far. Oh, thank god, that's awesome. Um, They've just been able to be wiped out by one Pantheon's Wrath done by combining two Fulman Shards from Tiz. Which might be in part to do that he has a uh, attack item amp. Ooh, okay. Well, fun way to do with this. Two of them weak to water. Let's just use two Primer Crystals. That should take care of the, um, the Hellhound and the Fire Dagon. But if it doesn't... Actually, I'm just going to run Curious Design because they really need to build her special up so we can regen our magic. Uh, I guess I'll try and steal from you because I think you have something cool. I don't remember exactly. I'm an idiot, so that's why. And uh, you just start punching. I don't know, punch, punch the dragon twice because it's higher health. But realistically, Tiz is just going to wipe him out anyway, so it's not really that big of a deal. Yep, there we go. Honestly, I didn't even get a chance to heal. <laughs> Seriously, Salve Maker is so powerful. It takes a lot of money to do it because you need to keep buying attack items or stealing them. And it either takes a lot of time or a lot of money. But it's so worth it. Speaking of things we can buy, how many can I buy? I have 63,000 P, so I realize I could stock up on these. Let's buy... Let's just stock up, whatever. I mean, buy me an even amount, because having a non-even amount is annoying. If I can just have 98 of all of these, that would be amazing. Oh my god, I just spent all my money. Uh... <laughs> this was a bad idea. Well, it's fine. <laughs> Let me buy... I'm buy 18 of these. And I'll buy 19 of these. Because I don't have any of them. And now I have no money. That sucks. Well, we buy plenty of things to sell. We've sold a lot of things. Um... I'm not even using these. Let me just sell, like, a bunch of them. I'm, I, when was the last time I used a balsam? Same with a wake up bell. I'm just using, um, like, a Sunaga or specific healing spells anyway. So just get rid of a lot of these. I'm not using them much. Especially these antidotes. Just, they don't sell for, like, anything, but it's still something. Uh, a lot of these. Like, I'm never going to use some of these. I never use them. I don't think they're helpful. Honestly, I don't think it reflects that great. Comment, whatever. Just moderate earth damage. Okay, that's all right. Well, no, moderate. Get, if it's not amazing, just get rid of it. <laughs> Pantheon's Wrath, Zeus's Wrath, stupid, dumb. Anarchic Wind, dumb. Bonfab Wind, dumb. Uh, all of these are good, though. Actually, honestly, I'm never going to use, like, some of these. Boost Elemental the Resistance, no. Spirit Bone, no. Demon Tail, no. Bang Fang, yes. All of these, yes, because I, I just bought them. And Beast Stuffers, yes, of course. Uh... I want to keep these, but I'll keep them for now. We have three flare hatches I'm never going to touch. Because I think they are worse than the War Axe. Yes, they are, except for the fact that they have fire damage, but I really don't care. The Diamond Staff I'm not going to use. Ripper I'm never going to use again. Uh, Alien Bow, get rid of that. And we're not going to need Dodachi coming up either. So, Large Shield, we don't need... Why don't we have three of those equipped, shouldn't we? And, well, no. Because we have the Ice Flame Shield. And then, okay, yeah. Because that makes sense. Uh, we're just going to sell two of them then. 
this black robe. I don't know why I have that, but just get rid of it. Um, well, I know why I have it because I bought it, but I don't know why I. I don't know words. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, we have 35,000 peak now. That's good. And power bracers that increases our strength. That's awesome. During that battle, I complete the tutorial quest. Ether magic. I still haven't done that one. We'll have to do that next battle. Um, that was mainly so I could spam uh, spam cures with Idea. Ah, with Anyas, and uh, use her special to get our MP back. All right, we shouldn't have to change over our jobs or anything. I don't think I need to change any equipment over. Um. No, we should be all right. I think, yeah. So let's just go on forward. I'll admit this was a reckless plan from the outset. A great battle against a powerful nation, outnumbered 100 to 1. Such a thrilling opportunity. But I was not able to keep my subordinates in check, leading to the scourge of the toxic mist and the death of the Fire Vestal. The toxic mist decimated the main forces of the Shield Bearers, but the Black Blades did not escape unscathed. The death of the Fire Vestal caused Mount Karka to erupt, sealing the way into the temple. And then, you arrived. You introduced me to the Way of the Sword, Master. You taught me many things. About values, standards, and good and evil. It's fair to say you had a great influence on me. My father was always concerned about his work and his ideals. He found little time to spend with me. Tell me, Master. Were the things you told me about righteousness, strength, and bravery all lies? That we should help the helpless and face strong foes without flinching? I cannot fathom why you have lit the fires of war in this realm, causing strife to so many innocents. I still find it hard to believe. This is not the man I know. He would never do this! You let sentiment cloud your mind, Adia. You are still as earnest as you were when you were a youth. You never waver in your disgust for recreant behavior. You condemn all that runs counter to your beliefs without fail. In a way, you remind me of your father. What? You see him in me? Yes, very much so. But you are still a child, unsullied by the world. There are no certainties in life. Righteousness and truth have a different meaning to each and every one of us. If you try to see the world as merely black or white, you'll lose sight of its true nature. Many are quick to treat us as children. But they simply use that as an excuse for their own corruption. A warrior's pride is not always compatible with the responsibilities of a commander, Adia. If I could act as I see fit, everything would be easy. But that is not the case. The same goes for your father. And someday, for the Wind Vestal you accompany. Oh. Don't compare her to you or my father. Anya's yes, act for the good of the world! She fights to carry out her mission, no? Blood and tears are shed in its name. It is no different for your father, Omi. Mission? No different? You and your soldiers plunged the world into turmoil! You started a war, and took the lives of so many. How can you say Anyas is like you? If you cannot see beyond the surface, then perhaps you will never understand. Do not be so blind. You must not lose sight of what is most important. I thought I had taught you that. Enough sophistry! It is underhanded! That does it! I shall go to help on yes, awaken the Earth Crystal! <laughs> if that is your decision... I hope you are prepared to live with it. I am. I'm ready to fight any who get in our way. Even you or my father. 
Very well, then. I see you have made up your mind. Kamizumi is not that dangerous of a fight, but you still want to be fairly careful with him. And, okay, so he didn't want to use the Toxic Mist, which we already knew, and he didn't want to get the Fire Crystal killed, or Fire Vessel killed, which is somewhat new information, but, like, that doesn't really explain for the killing of, or the killing, <laughs> enslaving of children. So, I don't, I don't really know what's up with that. Anyway, the main thing we can do here with Kamizumi is, uh, steal from him, for one, and then just use some tis... Alright then, um, sure, that sucks, um, we're gonna use his attacks and try and steal from him, he has two things I want to steal, a rebuff locket and a, um, oh my god, this is not going well already, a rebuff locket and a, uh, a katana called the Kotetsu, and as you might have noticed, Kamizumi, I just said he wasn't dangerous, and now he's just destroying me, um, he uses countering techniques. Know that an enemy that he used before to kill Tiz is an attack that, um... It's an attack that you choose a target and you counter whatever attack comes your way from them. The... And after he counters the technique, or an attack at all, he's going to brave three times and just attack a bunch. And that's what killed Ringabel. Uh, you continue to try and steal... Use Kuigong Wave. The good thing about that is after he does counter technique, of course he braves, which means he's just vulnerable for a few turns, so you can just go all out with him. But uh, we're going to be careful here. We're just going to steal, because he could definitely use Know That Enemy again. I didn't consider that. Nothing ventured there. That, that um, counters any physical attack that comes his way, before Swine counters magic attacks. I don't believe that includes magic armor, or magic uh, sword attacks. I think that is labeled under the uh, Nothing Venture thing. Also, we are just not stealing from him. As far as I know, he's just going to continuously use counter techniques forever until um, something attacks him, so we're just going to cut to when I steal something. What? Stealing does- what? <laughs> Why does stealing count as an attack? Okay, there's the rebuff locket. That's good. Finally, got the Kotetsu. Jesus Christ. I've actually been hesitant to do anything to him because I don't want him to get him too low on health. Once he's low on health... Actually, I can just use Rejuvenation. Once he's low on health, he'll just, um... I'm... I'm being an idiot. <laughs> he will just fucking... brave a bunch and attack, which means... He'll deal a bunch of damage, but then he'll be in a deficit, of course. Which isn't that big of a deal. That it does a bunch of damage, I mean, we can revive it, but I still don't want anyone to die. I'm just gonna go and use all my specials here because whatever, and just use a bunch of Kuigong waves. Uh, we should be okay, we should be able to weather this attack. Also, did he? Yeah, okay, he just counted that technique. I I'm dumb. Um, because we just stole Kotetsu. I think he counted that with, uh. Or maybe, maybe he's low in health. He should be low in health because he had, I haven't done anything to him. I don't know, I haven't paying attention. I've just, I That's fine, that's fine, actually. That's fine, because we're going to revive anyway. Uh, what was I saying? I don't know. I just didn't want to be in too low on health, because I didn't want to die. But I'm going to die anyway, apparently. Everyone's going to die. I mean, it's got it really close, which would have sucked. Well, we could have just widened area and uh, Phoenix down, but I still didn't want to do that. Thank God I didn't have to. Probably dumb to go out and use all my specials like that, but honestly, it's not big of a deal. Ringabout's going to get his soon enough because he's going to actually, you know, start attacking, which is great. And Tiz gets his in, like, a turn, because it's compounding. I think it counts to use, um... When you use, like, a compounding uh, bomb fragment, like, when you use two of them to make a... When you combine two Phlogistians to make a bomb fragment, I think it counts as using two items. Uh, so you get your special back in, like, a turn or two. It's amazing. Uh, you just go and use your special, I guess, because they're going to get back super quick as well. No, don't default. I don't uh, end the turn yet. And, uh... Do Scott Speed Strike, I guess. Sure. Why not? Uh, during that uh, whole sequence, I did use the Go tutorial thing. Basically, if you hit Go before you input any actions for anyone, it just makes everyone default by default, which is a weird sentence. But if you that's what you want to do for a turn, then just hit Go, and it'll do it for you. I'm it's boring. kind of a weird thing in the game, and it's weird that they bother teaching you that because it seems really useless, and I never do that. Um, but it certainly is a thing. 
And also just, um, well, mainly, I guess the point of it mainly is, like, if you only want to do something as Tiz, like, say I only wanted to use bombs, bomb arms as Tiz, I could just hit go here. Everyone else is just going to default, and Tiz is going to do his action. So it just skips the rest of everyone's turn. I guess that's mainly the point, but I still don't really see how that's, like, super helpful and needed to be in a tutorial quest. I think that could have been something the player found out on their own, and that would have been fine. But, I don't know, whatever. I'm not the game designer. Luckily, Kamizumi's dead now, so we don't have to worry about this anymore. 3000 XP, 360 JP. Doesn't really quite make up for missing out Chogmar, uh, from Chogmar's JP gain on, I think, Ring of Bell and Tiz, but, ah oh well, it's fine. And of course, the Swordmaster asterisk. Swordmaster is another great job that I'm really glad we have now. So at level 1, we get nothing ventured. That is what we saw during the uh, the battle. You have the damage you take and counter a physical attack if you're hit by one for double the damage of a standard attack. Helpful, uh, especially if maybe the only one left alive or there's a few abilities later on. Uh, I think there's one on... Oh, it's not Freelancer. I don't remember who. There's a job There's a job with an ability where you can um, raise your chance to be targeted. Um, it's actually it's a job we don't have yet, I think. But uh, we're getting very soon. Actually, okay, I'm being dumb here. I think there is two separate abilities I'm thinking of. There's, an, there's a job ability where you raise your chance to be targeted, and there's a job ability that we haven't gotten yet, or job... An ability on a job we haven't gotten yet that forces an enemy to attack a certain target. You could use that ability to force them to attack the Swordmaster and then just um, counter everything they do. But that's something for another time. Um, nothing ventured, counter physical attacks level 1, you already have it. Very good. Uh, multitask at level 5, have a 25% chance to attack again after uh, making a standard attack. Helpful, could really mean the difference between killing an enemy and not killing an enemy. Counter at level 6, uh, you have a 60% chance to counterattack an enemy. That's also the Swordmaster's specialty I forgot to mention. Uh, if you have Swordmaster equipped, then you standardly have... Standardly? That's not a word. You def by default have counter equipped. Um, helpful. I mean, if an enemy attacks, you have a 60% chance to just send damage back at him. The same damage as a standard attack, but I mean, it's better than nothing. Before Swine at level 8, same thing as nothing ventured, but... Counters magic attacks. Counter amp at level 9. You raise the damage to counter attacks to 1.5 times the damage of a normal attack. Might as well have it equipped if you're a sword master. And, and it's not going to hurt you at all. Well, except for the fact that it takes up a slot in the other slot, but oh well. No, then enemy at level 10. Counter attack for 4 times the damage of a standard attack if you're hit by the target you choose. Again, very helpful when you have an ability that increases your chance of targeted or forces someone to attack you. And the last ability we're going to talk about is Free Lunch, which you get at level 14 for two turns. Nothing uses MP. Now, you might be thinking that's good for, say, Black Mage or Summoner, and well, yeah, of course it is. It's mainly helpful for Pirates, because if you remember, there are a few Pirate abilities that use, like, half your MP, or all basically all of your MP, or one-fourth of your MP, whatever. Um... This makes it so you can just use like double damage or max damage or whatever the hell you want as pirate for free for two turns. That is amazing. If you just default and have three BP, then you can just just annihilate enemies so so fast because you can use four max damages in one turn with free lunch, no MP cost, and then do another the next turn and then just repeat for the rest of the, your life, basically. This makes Pirate and Swordmaster just one of the straight-up best combinations in the game, job-wise. It is so, so powerful. And, yeah, I'm probably going to be making use of the Anadia. She is the strongest character, and so we're probably going to be having her inside at Pirate and Swordmaster as soon as possible. As for stat and uh, weapon affinities, though, decent in everything except for intelligence and mind. Not a big deal, because uh, you're not going to be using magic with them anyway. Same with MP. Uh, they don't get MP, but... Again, not a huge deal. Um, you could... That might be a problem if you want Swordmaster and Sword Magic, but I'm not going to be having that anyway, so... I don't care. Uh, arms up too. They're good with swords and great with katanas. So we'll be wanting katanas. Luckily, we got that Kotetsu from Kanzumi. And good armor. Aptitude and, and everything. 
That seems to be the case. You either have no armor aptitude at all, or just great armor aptitude and everything, so... There's like no, there's no class that has decent helm aptitude and like shitty armor once, so... I don't know why they bother listing them as separate things, but... Whatever. Anyway, yeah, that's Swordmaster. Very, very good job. Pairs extremely well with Pirate. That's what we're going to be focusing on. Master! <laughs> well fought. I underestimated your conviction. Will you hear your master out one last time, Adia? Of course. Take the time to speak with your father properly. If you do not, I see nothing but tragedy for you both. End this petty descent between father and child. Master. You two were always so difficult. Master. <laughs> it is starting to lose quite a bit as well. First time here, yeah, and now Kami Izumi. Gotta feel a little bit sorry for her. I mean, yeah, she's the Grand Marshal's daughter, but she's obviously moved past that, and it's very adamant about helping Anis out now. I'm glad Anis has definitely come to trust her. We can definitely tell that trust between the party is pretty much at a max now. Um, which is great. No updates to, well, updates to tour requests, I suppose. No more of them! Well, we still have four more to get, as you can see, 46 out of 50 to play, but we won't be getting them for a little bit, I think. No updates to Narende, so that should be it. We taken out the sword bearer commander, or I guess black blades commander, but given the sword bearer commander kind of ran away, it seems basically sword bearer commander. And now there's only one sword bearer black blade left to defeat. One big commander there is at least. So we'll be doing that next time. Well, actually, no, we won't. We'll be dealing with commander Goodman next time. Killing him? No. We'll be uh, we're going to report to him and seeing uh, seeing what, if there's maybe anything else we can do to end the war or just what our next step is. Maybe get to return and awaken the Earth Crystal. So yeah, see you guys then. But hey, if you enjoyed this video, maybe check out some of the other series I've done. You can also consider subscribing, checking out my Patreon page, or joining my Discord server. There are links in the description to those, as well as other social media links like Twitter and Facebook. Thanks for watching. <laughs>